What did they change about the container uh, fine print? Probably exactly what they needed to, meaning they changed... I mean, the amount of people... Okay, I, I'm genuinely worried about how dumb people are, though. I'm genuinely worried. Because the amount of people in chat or, or, or on YouTube who still misunderstood it and defended them, and the amount of people who think that if you look at, if you browse, if you press this show all available, show the full list of camos that you can get, uh, they thought this was the camos that I have. This thought, so many people were like, but I saw the, I saw the, the camo in this list. Uh, are you trying to fool us? Like, Jesus. So many people. It's baffling. I, I don't understand it. Like, I genuinely don't understand. I, like, have they never, ever dealt with fine prints in their life? Like, you, you'd think they'd get a... Like, like they'd get a um, coupon to some store. This coupon give, gives you 20% discount to a product. And then below it, it says in fine print, but this coupon cannot be applied to already discounted products. So you can't use it on something that has a 10% discount and add 20%. That's what fine print is used for. It's used to define the deal. But for some reason, they, they, they look at this and they go, yeah, the fine print doesn't matter. I don't understand. I, people just must be, it's, wow, like, how dumb. So what did they change it to? Each distant container has a chance. Well done. It's about not knowing how text in English works, I think. Yeah, but it's it's more than that. It's it's like you put that in any other situation and it just comes across as so stupid. Like you'd never defend it. Like, okay, example, example. Um, my dad tells me when I'm, when I'm 15 year, years old, my dad tells me, hey, he, call, he holds up a big picture and on the picture, he's got a picture of a car and he's got a cookie. And he says, little flamo, you're going to get a car or a cookie. And then he goes on to say, if you finish school, I will give you a car. Okay. Then I go on to finish school. And then he gives me a cookie instead. And then he's like, oh, look at the picture. It says cookie or car. Huh? Did you see it says cookie or car? Like, in any other situation, it sounds retarded. So why are people defending it? Like, it must be people just don't understand English at all. Like, that's the only explanation. Like, it must be a huge communication, literally communication gap. But Flummo, there's an ore, right? Like, he's pointing at the ore. Like, look, look, you see, it says, there's an ore there. Like, <laughs> that doesn't work. That's not how you... That's not how English works. The guarantee of permacamos existed in every language? Yeah, I know. I know. Like, there was nothing to debate and there was nothing to defend, yet somehow the player base still tried to defend them. It's... What? I don't understand. Must be like some sort of battered wife syndrome or something. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's see. Whatever. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Whatever. Oh my god. Uh, Reddit has had fun. I'll have a, a loot box with a guaranteed price. But then if I confuse the community as to what the price actually is, so they buy a, buy a bunch of loot boxes. How original. And then I'll change the wording after the fact that I hope no one notices. Yeah, that sounds about that sounds about like the classic to me. 
It's, it's completely absurd. That, oh, wait, this. First academic alert. First oh, a what's it? What is this? First academic alert. Wiggum Ralph. I won! I won! No, no, Ralph. This means you're failing English. <laughs> Me fail English? That's impossible. First academic <laughs> alert. Wiggum Ralph. I won! <laughs> But yeah, um, they, but there's a shit ton of comments, like a shit ton of comments on my YouTube where people are defending and then just so fucking confused. Like people just, it's, it, it kind of baffles me. Like, like there, there are people who look and they say, or, they're literally pointing at the or. And that's just... That's not how English works. I don't understand. It's always what this, you say at the end of any document, at the end of any sentence. It's always what is stated in the fine print that is the defining value of any discussion. Like, you can go, hey, I like you, but I also think you're kind of a racist piece of shit. And then if he gets mad, you're like, no, 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 but I said I like you. It doesn't work like that. There was an or, like, there's a saying in, in English, everything before the but is irrelevant. So if you say something and then you finish it with, but on the other hand, blah, 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 or but I actually think blah, 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 then everything bef before that word was irrelevant. Everything before the but was basically empty, empty space. But there was a, a lot of people who don't understand that. Like, I think it's just people not comfortable or not familiar enough with English in general. That must be the thing. The volume of the stream was a bit high, and when you say hey, you activated my Google Assistant. <laughs> You know, I, I, if I leave the bathroom door open, I, I have like a speaker in my bathroom um, that I use to play music when I go to the shower or to the sauna. And, and it always activates and starts answering random shit when I stream. Wargaming changed it? Yeah, the fact that Wargaming went out of their way to change it, that alone should already like show the people arguing that, hey, the community thinks this way, and even Wargaming thinks this way, but I'm gonna go out of my way to defend them, like... <sighs> please. Please, dude, please. Okay, let's see, has there been devlogs? Oh. Oh boy, what is this? Aircraft Bureau Contest? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 let's see. What do we have? Super test 0.10.8 sixth world of warships birthday. It's been six years CDs are still a shit show That's impressive Six years they've tried to wow. I'm actually kind of amazed by that They are literally past half a decade of trying to balance it Speaking of which aircraft bureaus contest and Soviet <laughs> <laughs> moving on in the <laughs> moving on in the sentence. <laughs> Close testing of update zero for ten for that will soon begin. The update will include activities dedicated to the anniversary of World of Warships. Rio again, thank you for the twenty five months. Mm. Early access to Soviet and aircraft bureaus contest event. The convoys battle type and other news. Convoys. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Please note that all information in the development blog is preliminary. Announced adjustments and features may change multiple times during testing. The final information will be published on the game's 
website. Let me turn down the music a bit. It's pretty loud. Mission Impossible <laughs> balancing carriers. Am I right? This year, World of Warships is turning six years old. In recognition of this event, Update 0.10.9 will be featuring various themed activities. The main one is six years of World of Warships. How original. Uh, the six years of World of Warships holiday collection, which is presented in the form of a jigsaw puzzle. Collection elements can be found only from special containers bearing the same name, which can be obtained uh, in exchange for a new temporary resource, birthday tokens for completing a special combat mission chain in the new temporary event aircraft bureau's contest. Please tell me that these are not going to be a sold resource. Please. Please tell me these are not going to be a sold resource. Please. Please. Please tell me they're not going to start selling their birthday resource. Please, please don't. And due to the anniversary, the designer's table port has been updated and the following items were added to the game. Four merito meritorious service patch, permanent camo, six years, world of warships for Leon, York, Shores, Gaja, Mana, Akatsuki, and Zara. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Are they, are they trolling us with this thing that they still won't let you get? I have a small torpedo, but I don't have a big torpedo. A common sentence heard across the globe. I wish my torpedo was larger. Oh well. Mm -mm. What's this? Oh, designer's table. A little, a little painting of... That's actually pretty cool. Weird combination of ships, isn't it? Mm. Interesting. It's pretty cool. I like the little lighthouse details and <clears throat> such. Okay, what is this? Shores. Okay. I don't think you can make the shores beautiful no matter what you do. Like, choosing shores is an interesting choice because I don't. F I feel like there's no matter what you do, what you paint on this thing, it's still gonna look shit. I can't even blame the art department here because I mean, you're literally putting makeup on a pig. Like, good luck. These look pretty cool. Mm. Sure, it has a lot of freeboard, so it's good to show off the camo. Mm. True, true, true. Oh, these are the new containers, huh? Kind of looks like uh, a new graphics card. Maybe that's the idea. Apart from that, update 0.10.8 players will be able to receive festive bonuses for combat performance on all their ships starting with tier 5. Depending on each ship's tier, they will be able to receive birthday tokens, gift containers, and super containers. Another, another novelty of the update will be a temporary event, the Aircraft Bureau's Contest. It is based on the history of the develop, development of naval aviation and various experimental design bureaus of the USSR that developed military machinery for the Soviet Navy. Wait, are they pretending like Soviet CVs were a thing? Hello? Is, is, <laughs> hello? That's, that's a very short event, man. When, when does this event start? Like in the 80s or something? <laughs> Jesus, they're, re they're really fapping to themselves right now, aren't they? I, I, I'm sorry, but it's hard to look at it any other way. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, so the entire event is just based around this. Interesting. Starts at 9 a.m., ends at 9.30. <laughs> the first Soviet CVs were built end of 60s, right? <clears throat> Interesting. When was actually... Uh, first Soviet aircraft carrier when was this launched first soviet aircraft carrier the kiev class was the first class of uh okay no, commission okay helicopter carrier was the first one in 67 1967 and the kiev class was that was built in 1970 Okay, well, not that one then. Hmm. 
Yeah, um, not a whole lot of aircraft carrier history, is there? <laughs> General changes in comparison to the Battle of... Oh, aircraft similar to the Battle of the Beasts, okay. Now three teams are in, involved in the event instead of four. Okay, that's great. So two, two, dudes are, two guys are going to team up against one. Unique rewards, team patches, will now be obtainable for personal progress instead of team progress. Thus, a player will be able to like, collect all the valuable rewards of the event, even if their team didn't achieve the needed progress. Okay, that's actually good. That's good. Uh, personal progress matters more than you get ending up on a shit team. This is a good change. Updated the interface of the team selection window as well as the window displaying personal and team progress. Now personal progress until the next reward is displayed in port instead of team progress. Okay, good. So more focus on uh, individual and not being screwed by the team. <clears throat> event rules. The event takes place before the release of update 0.10.9 and is divided into four stages. Each stage lasts for one week. Once a week, you can choose one of three teams. Polycarpus Polycarp Bureau... Chetverikov's Bureau or Kocherigin's Bureau. Oh boy. During the event, you can complete personal missions which, which are issued daily to all participants of the event. Are they, are they, are they recruiting us to the KJB here? Uh, they can be completely completed during the day in random co-op and ranked battles as well as a new temporary battle type, Convoy. Interesting. <clears throat> By completing tasks, the player moves up the scale of personal and team progress, opening up access to rewards. Okay. Rewards. Six years of World of Warships, containers, <clears throat> theme patches, victory camos, coal, as well as a new temporary resource. Soviet tokens. Do -do! Do -do -do! Do -do! Even the music is hyped. Beautiful. Also in 0 0.10.8, the early access to Soviet aircraft carriers Komsomolets Serov Pabida begins. In honor of the event, permanent forward band camos for the new tier 4, 6, 8, and 10 carriers have been added to the game. Vlewe, thank you for the sum. Pabida, oh boy. Like we literally threw Pabida out the door and we're gaming just brought it back in the back door. Convoy. In 0.10.8, players will have access to a new to a new temporary type of battle. Convoy, which revolves around escorting transport ships. Okay. Historically, confrontation between fleets were often a result of navies protecting or trying to disrupt maritime supply lines composed of transport ships as they were the key importance in the course of warfare. This can be interesting. This actually can be really cool. Rules. The defending team must escort a convoy of four bot ships which moves along a fixed route. The team wins if at least one of the ships in the convoy reaches the end of the route, or if the entire enemy team is destroyed. The attacking team's task is to, to, co to completely destroy either the convoy or its defenders. Players are randomly assigned to teams. <clears throat> oh, randomly, okay. On average, it takes the convoy 10 to 12 minutes to complete the entire route. Summer vs. 7 tier A ships restriction up to one aircraft carrier. Oh God, of course there's a CV in it. Okay, I hope these convoys have really good AA. But how the hell do you protect the convoy against a good CV though? AA doesn't do anything. Do they dodge torpedoes? Because I feel the issue here is if it's a fixed route, like you can see the fixed route. Um, oh, this looks like my teammates. Look at this. This is the convoy you're supposed to escort. And this is where the green team is, who are supposed to defend them. They're, they're here in the corner. Oh god, people are gonna be so retarded in this mode, aren't they? Holy shit, they're gonna be so dumb. Oh my god, this is my uh, this is the classic average team, mate, isn't it? No Koga. In the, ain't that the truth? That's actually a really good saying. But yeah, um, this entire thing, I I'm a bit worried that like, I, I, you, I guess you're gonna have to go out and you have to scout in front of 
It's I, I feel like the guy who's like laying an ambush. Master Chief, thank you for the raid. I feel like the, the laying an ambush is gonna be so good. Like, how are you gonna stop a DD kind of just dropping torps? I hope the bots are good at dodging torpedoes. Because if they're not good at dodging torpedoes, then uh, some DD popping up, like just smashing them, is gonna be super brutal. Also, something like a bloody Vostok just pushes in and rams them or something. Like, that's gonna be rough to stop. We'll see how it we we'll see how it plays. Thank you, Master Chief. We'll see how it plays, but I mean, I, I'm uh, I'm expecting my teammates to play the way we're seeing in this picture. The convoy is here, and the teammates are in the corner of the map doing nothing. That that sounds about right. This is new game mode, convoy. Tier eight, an upcoming game mode. You're gonna have to do the flash shield. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I. <laughs> We'll see how it plays. We'll see how it plays. I mean, I don't want to judge too early because I think I think finally getting a new game mode is brilliant, and I think um, the idea of a convoy is a super cool concept. Um, we'll see though how, how it holds up because there are, there are a couple of issues. Mainly defending a CVs is going to be super tough. These things better be super tanky because uh, otherwise trying to defend against CV strikes is going to suck. Because if the CVs can just smash them over and over again with the AA doing so little, it's going to be really brutal. So, we'll see. Isn't it just operations at tier 8? No, uh, it's because it's players versus players. You, there's players on both teams, 7 versus 7. This, I better, these things better give you some buffs. That, that's, that's also very important. The convoy better give the defending team some serious buffs. Because ultimately, if there's no buffs involved, um, the, the issue becomes that the defending team is always the one that has to push into the enemy team. Unless they make it somehow so that the spawns favor the defending team heavily and the attacking team has to push into the defending convoy, that might work. But it's it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to balance that. I I don't like this thing here. Though. I really don't like this thing here. Oh boy. To be fair, if they're ever gonna implement subs, convoy would probably be the best game mode to do it. If they're ever gonna like try to permanently implement subs, uh, convoy would be the one game mode where it would actually possibly work. Okay. Okay. So this is the this is the this is the you spawn here and you ask, but they spawn here. You see that the convoy starts here and goes like this, and the enemy team spawns here. So what's stopping the enemy team from sailing down here, setting up crossfires, and then forcing you to push into them as they start smashing the convoy and shit? Hmm. Maybe they have a repair aura. Yeah, that might work. We'll see. We'll see. I, I love I love the idea, and I'm glad to finally see new game modes, and a, a game mode that's super interesting, and one that could possibly actually implement submarines in a way that makes sense, unlike something like Ranked, where they don't fit the game at all. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. You know they're gonna do something dumb, like like they're, they're gonna they're gonna add a cyclone to it or something. They're, they're just something something special. You're giving too much credit to the coordination of players in this game. That's actually fair, but I mean, I feel like if you do it enough times, you'll figure out, hey, if I just go here, the enemy ships will just sail into me. Like, maybe that's also putting a bit too much, much expectations on your teammates, but maybe. Did my playlist really start playing the hunt for the Red October as we were talking about subs? Is this thing listening to me? Interesting. Soviet commander Petr Gradov. That's the face of a man who knows that the community didn't want his Soviet CVs, but they were added anyway. Look at that smug face. Oh, you didn't don't like CVs? Ah, unfortunate Tovarich. Commemorative flags, Moon Rabbit, Chile, Chile Presidential, and the Mexican flag. Mooncake and HMS Belfast. Cool looking flags for sure though. <clears throat> Okay, well. Bill passed. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Ways of obtaining these items will be announced later. <clears throat> I love this concept though. I really I really love this concept. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 